please click like and subscribe to my channel. A Great Day for Soccer by Scholastic Book 1 A Great Day for Soccer by Quinlan B. Lee Hi! Boots and I are playing soccer today. We are meeting my cousin Diego at the field. Boots and I will bring the ball. To get there, Map says we must walk past a bumpy tree trunk, over the grumpy old troll's bridge, and through the gate. Let's go! Oh no! There are two trails. Which track should we take? Let's look at the tree trunks. Map said to go past the bumpy tree trunk. Come on! Here is the grumpy old rose bridge. We need to answer his riddle so we can cross. Are you ready? Let's try to solve it. He says, You play this game with your feet, not your hands. Kick the ball and make a goal if you can. Do you know the answer? Right! It's soccer! We made it across the bridge. Look! Here's Diego. Now we all need to go through the gate. Oh no, it's locked. Do you see the key? Right, it's in the tree. Diego asks a bird to bring it down to us. Great, now let's play. Ready? Score! The end. Dance with Dora by Scholastic Book 2 Dance with Dora by Quinlan B. Lee Do you see all the flags? They are flying because today is the big dance. Would you like to come along with us? Map says to get to the big dance, we must clap to get through the gate and then dance over the blue bridge. When the musical clock sings, it's time to dance. Let's go. Here is the gate. Can we climb over it? Can we slip under it? Wait. Map said to clap to slide open the gate. We did it. The gate slid open. Now, which bridge do we cross? Yay! The blue one! Let's dance across it! We're close! I see the musical clock. Is he singing? No! The clock is sleeping. How can we wake him up? Let's make lots of noise. Clap your hands, slap your knees, and clomp your feet. Look at the big red chicken clucking and flapping his wings. We did it! The musical clock is singing, and the fiesta trio is playing along. It's time to dance! Come on, everyone, let's dance. That's it for today.
Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye! Bye. Super Spies by Scholastic, Book Three. Super Spies by Quinlan B. Lee. Hi, we are Super Spies. Today, our mission is to stop Swiper from swiping Isa's special snack. How can we get to Isa a step ahead of Swiper? We can ask Map. Map says to swing over to the sticky mud, spring over the squirting spout, and slide down the slippery slope. Ready? Let's go. Let's swing on this vine. We can swing to the other side of the sticky mud without getting stuck. I spy the squirting spout. We can spring over it with our rocket sneakers. Ready? One, two, three, go! Here is the slippery slope that goes to Isa's flowery garden. Let's slide down it. We made it just in time. Our swiper detectors are beeping. Quick, say swiper, no swiping. Sorry, swiper. No snacks today. These snacks are so good. Super spies love sprinkles. Good spying. See you on our next mission. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye. Bye. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. Zoom to the moon. By Scholastic, Book Four. Zoom to the Moon by Quinlan B. Lee. Hi, I'm Dora. Do you want to zoom up to the moon with Boots and me? Let's do it. How do we get to the moon? Map says we must shoot past the clouds and loop around to shooting stars. Before we go, we need to get dressed for space. Backpack has what we need. What should we choose? Yay! A spacesuit and moon boots. We are in our rocket ship. Boots and I are ready to zoom to the moon. Three, two, one, vroom! We are flying over my roof. Oh, do you see that? It's Benny in his balloon. Say hi before we shoot past the clouds. Wow, Boots and I are in space. Which way to the moon? Yay! We have to loop around two shooting stars. We'll be at the moon soon. We are here by the moon. Let's zoom in close. The moon is big and bumpy. It was cool to zoom to the moon. We did it. The end.
That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read along stories in the future. Goodbye. Bye. Through the Woods by Scholastic, Book Five. Through the Woods by Quinlan B. Lee. Hi, I am Dora. My umbrella is sick today. Mommy made her some cookies. We will take them to her. Where is my new red coat? Oh, right, it's on the hook. I love my new coat. It makes me feel like the girl in my book. Do you know who she is? Right, she is Little Red Riding Hood. Hmm, which way should we go? Let's ask Map. He says to go through the woods, over the brook, and past the crooked tree. But I should look out for Swiper. He could swipe the cookies. We made it through the woods. Now where do we go? We could go up the mountain or over the brook. Yes, we should go over the brook. Now, what should we do? Do you remember? Look for the crooked tree. Do you see it? Look closely. Oh no! Look, Swiper took a shortcut. He wants to swipe our cookies. What should we do? Say, Swiper, no swiping. We did it! We went through the woods just like Little Red Riding Hood. Abuela, here are the cookies Mummy made you. They look so good. And here is something else: a good book. The end. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye. Bye. Baby Bird Rescue by Scholastic, Book Six. Baby Bird Rescue by Quinlan B. Lee. Hi, I am Dora. Boots and I are going to explore the forest. I hear a little chirp. What do you think it is? We found a baby bird. Maybe she needs our help. What should we do first? Are you hurt, baby bird? Baby bird says no. She's looking for her mother. Baby bird must be lost. Baby bird wants to return home to her mother. Where could her mother be? We can search for her. Baby bird chirps. She is thirsty. Let's get her some water from the spring. Now, where can we find Baby Bird's mother? Is she in the water? Is she under the flowers? Or is she in the little blue tree? Yes, she is in the little blue tree. Oh, we did it! Here is Baby Bird's nest. And here are her mother, her brother, and her sister. They are so happy to see her. Good work, Baby Bird is back home.
That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read along stories in the future. Goodbye. Bye. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. Stuck Truck by Scholastic. Book 7. Stuck Truck by Quinlan B. Lee. Boots is getting a special package today. We are here to pick it up. A duck see mail truck. He must be far away. How can we see where he is? Does backpack have what we need? Is it the clock? Is it the lock? No, it is the telescope. I see mill truck. Oh no, he is stuck in some muck. We have to help him get unstuck. Quick, let's go. Oh no, there are two roads to get to mail truck. We need to follow the muddy tracks. There is mail truck. He tried to go through the muck, but it was too thick. We need to figure out how to get mail truck unstuck. We can stick some rocks under each wheel. Then mail truck can drive on the rocks and not on the mud. What luck! We got mail truck unstuck! Now mail truck can deliver his stack of mail and Boots can get his package. Look! Boots got a toy truck! The end. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye! Bye. I Love a Parade by Scholastic, Book 8 I Love a Parade by Quinlan B. Lee Hello, I am Dora. This is King Juan El Bobo. He loves lots of things, like silly songs and parades. We are making a parade for him. Would you like to go marching with us? There will be lots of song singing, horn playing, and drum banging. Let's go! Benny the Bull is going to lead the way by ringing his bell. But he can't find it. Listen. Does the bell go ding dong or thump bump? Right. Bells ring ding dong. The Viesta Trio are playing things too. They bang the drums, clang the cymbals, and squeeze the accordion. Boots is dancing. I am playing the maracas. Together we are shaking, rattling, and rolling. Go Boots, do your thing. Oh no, I see Swiper hiding behind that fence. He wants to swipe my maracas. Quick, let's say, Swiper, no swiping. Yay, we did it. Swiper didn't get to swipe anything. Now here comes King Juan El Bobo singing a song. We all sing along. The king loves our parade. The end. That's it for today. 
Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye! Bye. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. A Walk to the Play Park by Scholastic a Walk to the Play Park by Quinlan B. Lee Boots and I are going to walk to the play park. We called all of our friends to meet us there. We have strawberry cupcakes to share with everyone. Let's go! Play Park is a great place to meet. Boots like to play ball. And I like to climb over all of the monkey bars without falling. Oh no! There is a tall wall in our way. How can we climb over the wall without letting all the cupcakes fall? Boots and I will work together. If Boots crawls up on my shoulders, then he will be tall enough to put the cupcakes safely on top of the wall. Yay! We made it over the wall. But there is Swiper. Let's say Swiper, no swiping. Or he will swipe all of our cupcakes. Yay! We stopped Swiper. We're almost there. But now we have to cross Waterfall River. How can we get across without getting all wet? We caught Tico. He's always ready to help. Look at his boat. It is just the thing to get us across Waterfall River. We did it! We made it to the play park. The end. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye. Bye. The Circus Comes to Town by Scholastic Book 10 The Circus Comes to Town by Quinlan B. Lee What a big crowd! Do you know why? I will give you a hint. There are lions, jugglers, and clowns. Yay! The circus is in town! I love the circus. Look at the three big rings. Let's look around. How many clowns are in that tiny house? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Wow! How do they all fit? This clown needs our help. His round red nose fell on the ground. Let's look down and help him find it. We did it! We found the round nose. We turned the clown's frown upside down. In the next ring, the clown sees something else round. Do you? Yay! The balls are round. The seals bounce the balls on their snouts. The seals juggle to keep the balls from falling down. In the last ring are lions. Wow! That one is walking high off the ground. A look at lion's shiny crown. The circus was great. Now everyone takes a bow. The end.
That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read along stories in the future. Goodbye. Bye. Sail Away by Scholastic, Book Twelve. Sail Away by Quinlan B. Lee. Do you know where we are today? We are on something that dips and sways in the waves. Yay! We are on a ship on the bay. We are in a sailing race today. I am Captain Dora. And this is Sailor Boots. Let's raise the mainsail. Away we go! What a great day! There is no rain and there are no grey clouds. There's just the sun and the spray of the waves. It will be smooth sailing all the way. Oh no! There's Swiper behind that rail. He wants to swipe our sail so he can win the race. We were too late. Swiper swiped our sail and tossed it away. Do you see it? There it is in the bay. How will we get it back? I know. We can use this pole and some sticky tape. Then Sailor Boots will climb the main mast to put our sail back up. Hooray! He did it! Now I will raise the sail back up, and the wind will take us away. We may still win. We did it! We won the race! The end. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye! Bye. The Windy Day by Scholastic, Book Eleven. The Windy Day by Quinlan B. Lee. It's such a windy day. I think I hear tree limbs knocking on the window. Oh, maybe it is a knock at the door. No one is here. But look. Someone wrote me a note. It is from Boots. The note said to meet Boots at Play Park. I need to wrap up before I go. Abuela knit me this scarf to knot around my neck. It's Isa. Boots wrote her a note too, but something is wrong. Isa only has one mitten. Oh no! The wind blew Itza's other mitten up on the tree limb. Let's call Tico to help get it down. He is really good at climbing trees. Hooray! Tico got Itza's mitten, and Boots wrote him a note too. Let's all go to play park together. We made it to play park. There is Boots, and look what he has. Four kites! What a perfect day to fly kites! Hooray! The end. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel if you like more of these read-along stories in the future. Goodbye. Bye.